Welcome back and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a simple HTTP server on React PHP. Remember that React PHP works a bit different than traditional synchronous PHP request response cycle. Often for PHP web applications we use already built HTTP servers like Nginx or Apache. When a new request arrives the server executes PHP bootstrapping the whole application and loading all your classes. Then the application handles the request, returns the response and then dies. As a result each time a new request comes in, each time the same bootstrapping happens over and over again. With the React PHP we can create our own web server in PHP. Making a server sounds really scary, right? With the React PHP it turns out to be incredibly easy. This is one of those things that I really love about React PHP. So in this tutorial we are going to create our own web server in PHP. And then we will go to the browser and make a request. The server will deal with this request. So first of all we need to pull a package called HTTP. As always we install it via Composer. Once package is installed let's start from scratch and create an empty file. We start with a loop. All applications require it. Then we create a server, an instance of React HTTP server class. Its constructor accepts a callback. Leave it empty, we will return to it later. In previous screencasts we have covered sockets and network communication. Our server will run on top of TCP socket, so we need to create one. And we are going to listen to incoming connections on localhost port 8000 and provide the loop. Once the socket is created we need to wire it and the server. The server starts listening to incoming requests on this socket. It is a local server listening on localhost port 8000. And as always don't forget to run the loop. Now as I've promised we return to this empty callback. This function is a request handler which allows us to deal with incoming requests. So the way it works is the following. Whenever a new request comes to the server then this callback will be caught with this request. Thus it accepts an instance of the request object. This object comes loaded with details about the request that has been made. And let's input class name here. Well. Because this callback is a request handler, we must somehow handle the request and respond to it. That means that we should return an instance of the response object. It accepts a status code, an array of headers and a body. So the first parameter is status code and we return 200 OK status. This status code says, hey, Everything went ok, you have requested something and I am sending it back, no problems. The second parameter is headers. This is an array. We use content type header and the value of this header will be a plain text for now. So we pass text plane here. We provide this header to help the browser to understand what type of content it has to deal with. And the next parameter is the response body itself. In our case it is a plain string. As an example let's put hello world here. And this response will be returned to the client. This is all for the server setup. And by the way we have forgotten to require Composer's auto loader. Let's fix it. Cool. So if now we run this the server starts listening for incoming requests. Then I come to my browser and enter the address our server is listening on. Ok, and if we request this page we see this response, hello world. This is the text that we sent right here. And if you open your network tab you will see the requests. Here is our request. Here is the response, hello world. And if you go to headers tab you see the status code that we sent. 200 OK, which is here. Then the content type header is text plain. Now it doesn't matter what path you enter here, it can be anything. Our server responds the same to all incoming requests. 
any request which is sent to this port and this address will be handled the same way. If I enter forward slash API, then I still will get the same hello world response. Of course, it is not the way real applications work, but for now it is ok. The main purpose of this screencast is to show you how to set up and run HTTP server with a few lines of PHP code. The last thing I want to show you is adding a login statement here. I'm going to echo something about the request that was made. Request 2 and we echo the requested page. Now we need to restart the server. Then in the browser I refresh the page and you see a logged message, which says what page has been requested. If we change it to something, for example, foo, you see that it logs a new message which says foo. Ok, this is how we create a simple HTTP server on React PHP.